zone, playing well, executing well. Like, execution's yeah. so important in this game. Just with combos and Z-canceling. There's so many, like, frame tight options that, like, people will mess up on it and will cost them a stock, yeah, especially and, at this and, level. I mean, we even saw that literally in the last set with, you know, those one frame difference allows Mario to get a down beat. Yeah. So, every frame, right every, every frame it. matters. All frames matter. Now, Mariguas is just absolutely dangerous in this matchup. Yeah, he's uh, scary. He combos Pika so well with Pika. Yeah. He's the best at comboing Pika in the game. This so feels better. Maybe, like, I don't, maybe Wario, but I don't know. Like, when's the... Uh, I think lately the only player that he's really been losing the Ditto to is Alvin, uh, which that's a great feat. Uh, whenever you're forcing Boom to have to use uh, like Falcon and uh, or something. yeah, good combo from Mark. Yeah, bringing it right back. back. Yeah. So that's one of Pika's like few like guaranteed combos: the up air down switch. Yeah. The down beat. And uh, waits for the tech just to get Regos a little bit closer yeah. to the edge. So where Barco reads the tech and does another grab, yeah. Regos reads the tech with an up smash to certain. Mm -hmm. Like Regos will often give up like the guaranteed percent of the chain grab to go for that up smash because he's gonna get so much out of it. Uh, even though it's like probably uh, maybe up tilt and weak. Oh, weak near, but the good yeah, guy good the block, yeah. Jab grab, yeah, good yeah, up beat. Yeah, so. Uh, Mark's timing forward on up bees yeah, is uh, forward air there. Good. It's uh, it's it's not uh, true on shields for getting the jab grab out. Uh, Nair back here, those those will lead to a true jab grab. But uh, there's like a one or two movement of picking up B out. We saw Mark do it. Yeah. Anyway, Marie lost tick gets the grab, takes the side. And going for a uh, down smash, possibly a mistake. Uh, probably looking for down tilt there. And back to neutral for both of them. And like you said, uh, he waits for that tech, but was probably hoping for just a tech in place to get that up smash. Oh, this is just a little bit out of his range. Decent up here to Ray Glass. And uh, you know, back here, Mark doesn't have, does he have a up? Yeah, he did. So he's stuck in the up B. Usually, if he peekas only in an up B and he's like distances at best the side flat. You can usually edge guard that. Yeah. And just drops down very slowly with that back air. Uh, oh, it goes the wrong the way. Weak nair is fine, but just it didn't want Marco back in this day. And gets the grab. It's going to be a stock. Uh, Rigos is a very solid 3-1 right now. Double down air, nair to up air. Ah, uh, it doesn't keep the combo. And Bart barely weaving out of that uh, up tilt range. Getting in the Such a baby back here. Yeah. And strong too. Strong and big. Hefty. Hefty back here. Let's see. Mark loves doing the uh, the down airs, uh, kind of in neutral. He likes just like floating around because like if people get stuck in a grab game, a lot of people are very grab heavy players. Yes. Uh, the down air is just you're up, you're out of grab range because you're above the character. Yeah, and it just floats right in perfectly, and sets it up. So people that get stuck in pivoting and, and trying to play like a grab war with with Mika, you could just down air. Yeah, down air is just super good at like uh, kind of counteracting uh, players who want to stay on the ground as well. It's so low. Uh, a few of Pikachu's aerials, if you use them right on launch, uh, it'll kind of hover right above the character. Uh, but as we see there, uh, Downer just very clipping, barely clipping the, the party cat. Yeah, it's a good way to pun punish pivoting too. And, and yeah, there, it keeps it fresh, one. so. Marigos takes it, two stocks, Bark. <coughs> Bark uh, kind of, <sighs> kind of outclassed here. Uh, yeah. You know, he's a good player, but you know, we always, we've been saying Marigos is one of the best. And Especially at this matchup. Uh, like. I know Not many players are gonna really be close to him. Barks would have liked to get like third or second to win the event, but uh, right now he's he's at his seed. He's playing where he was. He beat everyone he was supposed to. Lost yeah. those to be expected. So. It's not often Bark uh, performs below his seed, at least anymore. I think. Yeah, and it's it's more often than he outdoes his seed. But, yeah. Uh, like take SmashCon for example. Mm -hmm. He made top eight. I hate him forever for it. Or LD. Ruined ruined yeah, the prophecy. <laughs> I'm supposed to have LD for how about to turn it to Mark and wins me. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mark's good though. Yeah. He, it, he did well. 
Yeah, he's an incredible player. Uh, another one who's just improved so much in the past year. Yeah, he went from being a good player with solid wins, but like kind of busting out and being a fraud at Majors, yeah. to now fix correcting those uh, like the the kind of the control problems he had, you know, composure problems, and uh, he's now back to playing at a high level at every major. He's done really well. It's 2017, thing great. He's got a win over Alvin, wins over Tacos, wins win over Wizard, win over Wizard. Yeah. yeah, I think the win over Wizard was the most. Uh, like, I mean, I don't think Wizard was completely on point that set. But uh, I don't think Wizard was the one to like purposely stand back. Yeah, no, definitely. It was it was a good win for Parker. Yeah. Great grab. Yeah, there's one of the classic blunders, you know. Never get in a land war in Asia. Never go to see other deaths online. And never get in a crab battle with Park Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> Only a stock lead, uh, you know, looking better for Bart here. He's gonna bring us at a pretty good percentage, too. Uh, yeah. Get him uh, yeah, back through. Yeah, that felt like he's off stage. But he's at a good position. Like, if he somehow gets one of these, yeah, up here, but kind of in the middle of the stage, he can lead it to up smash to, to down B. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna do a flat drop up here. It's hard. He could do that pivot flat drop up here. Rigua's so good, just anytime someone has to tech on the side platform, it's very, very rare that you see him miss the punish on that. Great read from Bar, gets him back off stage. Good good tech in actually for Rigua's too though, because if yeah. he had teched out, he would have been hit by an air and, and died. So by having to go all the way across the, the, the entire stage, he ends up living because the knockback on Yeah, and at least gave him the opportunity to get back to stage. Bark all, uh, like, more than ready for the trade to get the kill again. But Mariguas, despite that, still in the lead. Great DI off that there. Oh, that was a great plat chop up air. Catches him on the side plat. And Mariguas will kind of short hop and just uh, wait for the opponent to panic an option out. He's just up tilt. Good spark. job for Mariguas. Just gets in on Bark. Still Not living, but... Yet. The, the thunder there, the little neutral B, it's good to shut down kind of like an angle that Pika can take. Yeah. So it forces it to go to a position. So Gringo's did a great job there. Because Bark's not going to risk trying to up B through that and get into the sweet spot. Because um, if he gets hit, he's, he's basically out of it. Yeah. Very easy to Bark is a, a Pikachu who loves his like sweet spot angles like on, um, on ledge. Bark pretending he has other characters. But. I'd like to see. Yeah. Surprisingly, his other character actually are pretty good. Yeah, uh, uh, a 12 CV with Bark would be bad for most people. I yeah. Think. While he only plays PK really in tournament, uh, he can go most of the cast and play pretty proficient. I think he would have made top 16 with any character of his choice. Yeah. Obviously, he wouldn't get you know into loser semis with any character of his choice. But. Yeah, against the field, like uh, he's like he's just so smart about the game. I understand the nature really well. He's got a, got a good mind as well. Yeah. It's one of the first things I noticed when I first played him. You know, he, uh, basically, you know, after right after VG boot camp, uh, basically all started owning Xanadu. We were able to add 64 right away, and because uh, I found these new players, Bark and Dark, you know, were those players, and wow, I was better than them at the time. Um, you can see, like, I just had this when he played Bark. You can see how he thought about it. He just didn't have the same knowledge because he was used to just playing, you know, random scrubs in college or something like that. So yeah, you could tell he was going to be. I knew he was going to be a top player from the, the first time I played him, and, and now here he is. He's refined all of his skills. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how that happened. Like some players, they come into the game, uh, like playing their friends, so they'll learn like neutral heavy game and like very simple tasks to kill their opponents. And other players, just not having anyone to play with, will focus like on those attacking combos uh, that they might have seen top players do. Yeah, because I mean, if you don't know to play, with, the only thing you're gonna get is trading. Programs. Yeah, or online, but not everyone knows about it. Yeah, the online Discord, I think, is pretty good. Pretty active now. Uh, pizza's been on these. But I'll uh, get back to the game. we got a two-stock lead now for Marie Wasp 4-2. Uh, this looking a lot more like we thought this set was going to be. Uh, Bark's kind of kept, like, last game was pretty close. Good reverse back here. That was a good job by Bark. It's going to take that stock. And at those low percents, uh, you're kind of just see 
You're kind of going to see uh, Pikachu just swat each other with the up airs until they get a higher percent, especially if uh, they Rayglass keeps getting Bark with those pivot up tilts. But good job, uh, good DI for Bark, because uh, yeah. he was able to dodge the, the back air, which would have been a, a certain stock on him. That was good awareness from Rayglass not to like uh, overcommit to the back air um, and put himself in a terrible position. Yeah, if he threw the back air, Bark would have gotten back before he would, yeah. and he would have been able to be counter edge first. And I think at, like uh, as you play this game more, a lot of getting to that higher level is understanding when you need to like give up a position and not overcommit to something. Yeah, people they, they know they go, oh if I get this one hit I'm gonna win. Right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like uh, well the the top player knows you're going for the hit so they don't let you get it. Yeah. And then you you because like that's like the option that everyone's hungry for. And it's nothing, like if I just got that hit. There's nothing in this game that's like safe. There's nothing you can do a rinse and repeat over and over and over again that's guaranteed to win. There's yeah. no like shortcut to winning this game. Mm -hmm. So anything you're fishing for is punishable. There's yeah. an exploit to everything. Oh, Bark had it. That was a great yeah. back here. Reverse back here on the shield because it's it's true on shield so you can get the guaranteed grab. Bark was just slow and missed it. I think it has enough uh, shield stun for him to turn around too and get the yeah, grab. Yeah, Bark was just a mistake. Oh, the hot <laughs> smash from Rayguas. Yeah, totally called out. And uh, yeah, Mark does make it a two side game. <laughs> <laughs> he did well though, you know. He, he, yeah. he, he played as good as he thought he was going to do. Uh, can't, Mark really can't ask for more. Yeah. Um, so, so we'll have Burgos is probably going to sit up here. We're going to have him play uh, Wizard, Wizard Rope. Yeah, we get the it's rematch. Be a rematch from uh, Winter Semis. And uh, probably. Which didn't look good for Burgos at all. No. But probably while playing Bark, it was autopilot, so 